Hey guys, it's Norgie DeGal here, and today I'm talking about a legend motherboard slash logic board image that was leaked out of a Chinese forum, um, wayphone.com. So the same user last year did post some images of the iPhone 4S motherboard before it came out. So it is quite possible that these could be the motherboard that we do see on the next generation iPhone 5 that is predicted to come out September 12th as of now. So first off, what we did notice is the battery. The battery, instead of four connections on the iPhone 4S, had five connections. So that could hint to us a higher capacity battery like we did see a couple days ago where the battery was leaked and it did have a little bit of a smaller, higher capacity of um, 3.8 volts from 3.7 volts. So that may explain the extra point in the connection. Another thing is also a hint about LTE. iDevice guys also did note that the antenna did have a few more connection compared to the iPhone 4S, which could um, give us more evidence that we will see LTE, although that was a kind of a given after we saw on the iPad, we're pretty sure we're going to see LTE um, no matter what people did notice um, a smaller SIM tray, possibly a nano SIM, a smaller SIM card than the micro SIM, which is already small enough. So also apparently the digitizer connector for the display is also a little bit different on this because as you guys know, a while back I did do a video talking about a possible new display technology called the in-cell display technology where the touch panel and the digitizer is also um, merged together to create a thinner form factor. So what they did is they got this image of the motherboard itself and put it line it up to an image or a video from E-Trade Supply, um, fitting it into the empty housing, and it actually fits in perfectly. The nails and everything line up. So I think now we've got so many clues after all this time predicting what we're going to see on the next iPhone. First we saw the housing, um, the display, then we saw some evidence coming out of the iOS 6 beta coding, the latest beta just last week, or yeah, something like that. And Overall, now that we have the motherboard, it seems like everything and all the clues are all coming together. But the only thing we don't know is what processor is going to be used. Because as you guys know, the iPad 3, the new iPad, did have an A5X processor, quad-core graphics, but dual-core processing power. Um, but I have a feeling that Apple will either use the A6 and possibly even a rumored A5 II. However, I am leaning towards the A6 as this is a redesign, the next generation, not the iPhone 4S or like 3GS, the S models. So I'm predicting a redesign in the processor as well. Because as you guys know, the iPad 2 and through the form factor did not change. So I couldn't really be that surprised that they did go ahead and use the A5X. However, I do think they are going to use a quad core, full quad core, 86 processor. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button below. If you would like to be notified of future content, please subscribe.